How you doing guys? Today we have a 2014 Chevy Equinox. Customer have a flip key but it's all broken and it doesn't start the vehicle anymore. So we're gonna create a brand new key fob and uh, it's a switchblade. We're gonna cut and program. Let's get started. So I'm sorry for not uploading a video for a long time but hopefully now I'm gonna start uploading again. So we're going to take the original key and we're going to put it in the sec e9 machine in order to decode the blade i'm going to go to search i'm going to look for a key blank ag100 there is two options there is eight cuts and ten cuts eight cuts is for suvs and sedans and ten cuts is for pickups so we're going to go to the eight cuts and we're going to hit the code make sure the machine is cleaned and the machine is going to decode the original key don't forget that sometimes the key is worn out, so that means there is less metal. So the machine is going to measure it a little bit deeper. We're going to have to adjust it to the original manufacturer specs. So I'm going to show you how to do it after it finished the coating. We can remove the key and we're going to go to the input on the screen and we're going to round up all the uh, all the numbers and now we're going to match the picture and the cuts to the original key to make sure that it's the right cuts and when we see that everything is good we're going to take the new key and we're going to put it in the machine and just cut it going to go to the screen we're going to hit cut in the settings I'm going to speed up the cutter a little bit change the position on the clamp and hit cut first cut close the lid and let it cut the key when you finish cutting the first side of the key we're going to clean up all the metal shavings and then we're going to switch the key to the other side in order to cut the other side of the blade make sure everything is clean because those metal shavings can mess up with your machine hit second cut and close the lid after you finish cutting both sides of the key you can clean up the metal shavings again I always like to brush the uh, the blade the new blade to make sure there is no any excess metal shavings and everything is flush and uh, smooth i'm going to use the brighton ry200 uh, wire brush and uh, and then we're going to go and program it So I'm going to go to the car, I'm going to use uh, Autel KM100, we're going to go to the OBD, the uh, customer have an Allstate GPS, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put my own Dango, the Autel KM100 Dango, that's going to be connected via Bluetooth to the device. So before we go to the menu and start the programming, we want to make sure that we have a connection. On top right, you're going to see either VCI with a red light or green by the way here's the original key and we're going to put it on on position and after five seconds the security light stays on that means the chip is no good for any reason it doesn't matter so we cannot do onboard programming i'll have to put my own key inside and start a regular programming we're going to go to the hotel we're going to go to immobilizer chevy and because we have our own key in the ignition on on position we can do automatic selection and read the VIN number uh, doing automatic selection will save you time by going to the sub model and all the other menus of year and everything this will give you all the information you need so now we got the year make and model VIN number hit yes blade key doesn't matter which chassis because this is only for diagnostics but the key will work on both go to hot function 
we're not going to do all keys lost. We don't want to delete any other keys. So I'm just going to do add key. Start reading the pin. It's going to tell me that we need two things. We need a Wi-Fi connection and we need a USB cable for fast data transfer. So I'm going to bring a USB cable, um, stick it in the machine and stick it in the dongle and make sure that you have a Wi-Fi connection and then you can hit OK to start the procedure. Now the author is going to read the, uh, the pin code by itself. You don't need to spend any money on buying pin codes or anything. It's a four digit code and this machine after half a minute will just give you the pin code. And we got the four digit pin code. We're going to hit OK. Turn the ignition off and on again. Hit OK. Do you want to clear uh, engine codes? I'm going to hit no. Do you want to start learning the key? I'm going to hit yes. Close all the doors. I'm going to leave it open for now. I'm just going to do all the rest of the steps. I'm going to confirm the pin code, double uh, verify, hit OK. And then it's going to tell you in 12 minutes, it's going to finish the programming. So I'm going to leave the machine connected here and I'm going to close the door. When it finished the 12 minutes, we can go back inside the car, sit inside and close the door behind you. Now we're going to follow the steps in order to close the programming. So we're going to remove the key from the ignition and hit OK. Open and close the driver door. That brings us to the programming mode. I'm going to hit OK and put the key on on and it's going to register this key to the memory. Five seconds. Successfully, do you want another key? I don't want to program another key, so I'm going to hit no. Remove the key. Now we're closing the programming mode. So open and close the driver door. Hit OK. It's going to take 45 seconds to close the program mode. I'm going to fast it forward. Ignition off without removing the key. Ignition on. Three keys in the memory. So now we can just uh, close the ignition and test it out. Let's give it a test. And everything works nice and easy. So we just register another key. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to go outside and test the remote to make sure everything works fine. The lock on lock remote start. Everything works. I'm just going to check the, uh, the trunk as well. Thank you very much, very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.